Hi, I'm Rebecca. I work as a private chef and I specialize in raw food, but today I'm working for you. What we're going to do today is make strawberry shortcake. 100% vegan, 100% raw. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put some raw cashews into the Vitamix, about a cup full that I soaked for about an hour. I'm going to put the juice of two lemons. So I'm just going to squeeze it in here in the Vitamix. And after that, I'm going to add a little sweetener. Now, everybody has their own preferences, so you can use whatever you like. If you prefer not to use agave, then you can use dates, stevia, raisins, whatever. Um, also honey. Right now, I'm going to use some high-quality agave. So, I'm just going to make this into a nice whipped cream consistency. special taste, you can always add vanilla beans. That makes everything great. So what I'm going to do, it's a little thin, so I'm going to add some more soaked cashews. I like mine a little thicker. nice and creamy. I'm going to put this in a squeeze bottle, pour it right in, and right now I'm going to make the cake part of the strawberry shortcake. This is really easy as well. You just mix some, uh, what I have is here some ground nuts into a powder, and also a little bit of flaxseed that's been ground up, and then I'm going to eat, uh, mix an equal part of psyllium seed. Psyllium seed is something that's gelatinous and bulky, so it's going to give it a kind of a nice angel cake consistency, like that cushiony feeling. So mix these together, and I'm going to put the juice of one lemon in there, in the cake. Actually, you know what I can do is just scoop this. I'm going to pour the rest of this cashew out, and I'm going to put our psyllium seed, flax seed, and ground nuts in here. What I use a lot of time is if I make nut milk, I use the pulp to make the cake and mix it with psyllium seed. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of agave in there, a little bit water, and then I'm going to blend it all up. And this is the cake. And to get a cake um, shape to it, I use a little tiny dish, whatever shape you want to use. Usually I use something round and pour it in and let it set for about um, five to ten minutes. So if you have equal part of ground nut or um, pumpkin, pumpkin pulp or almond pulp or whatever nuts you're using, you mix that equally with psyllium seed and then when it gets hard, like this one, then you scoop it out. What I usually do is get a butter knife and kind of go along the edge to loosen it up. And once it's loose, there you have the raw vegan equivalent of a sponge cake. And I chopped up the strawberries here, fresh organic strawberries. This is definitely going to make the cake. Put it all around the cake. I always like lots of strawberries. Mmm, they smell delicious. It's that time. Summertime is here. Okay, so now I have this in a squeeze bottle. And the reason why I put it in it, you can use a spoon, but I just put this so it looks a little prettier. You can make different designs. Kind of drizzle it on. And voila! There's the raw vegan strawberry shortcake. Very delicious. And if you want to know more about what I do, you can look me up at 
magiccarpetcuisine.com. There's no spaces, so when you go to the URL, just go to magiccarpetcuisine.com and you'll see my story, how I got into raw food, and uh, some of my services. Thanks. Take care.